Hey everybody, so I am out here in my kitchen. We just finished a grocery shopping haul. In the middle of the day, my husband and I went on a lunch break and we went to the store. I got the whole grocery list ready. I did a grocery list and a baking list all based off this new amazing book. <laughs> this is called The Plant Paradox Book. I am so, so excited about this book in my life. This way to eat is a very, very beneficial program for people who deal with um, inflammation, autoimmune response, uh, gluten intolerances, sensitivities, celiac, all those just different food issues that we have. Plant Paradox has been an incredible resource for me. Every grocery shopping trip, I make an educational experience for myself and my husband. So this is just gonna be my little grocery shopping haul of what we were able to purchase that was naked, package free, and um, sustainable, processed by good companies, and what can also help us make yummy foods that make us happy and improve our moods and help us maintain our weight and help us heal our guts and our minds and our souls. So. This is basically everything that I got. Let's go through it. Disclaimer, it is still quarantine and the grocery stores haven't been able to provide us with paper bags and they've been um, banning the use of your own reusable bags. Some stores let you bring the bags in, some stores don't. So it's just always, it's just this complicated situation with grocery shopping right now. How about we get our angles on point? Oh, um, I did get some San Pellegrino, just some sparkling water. I'm gonna be infusing this sparkling water with, oh, you can't even see me, what the heck? Makeshift tripod out of the spoon box. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes, okay. So, first thing I got was San Pellegrino, this is just some sparkling water. Oh, and here's the um, recipe for the drinks that I wanna make with the sparkling water, the mint and the lemon. Um, just adding a few drops of stevia and squeezing the lemon, putting the mint leaves in there, it's so good for summer drinks. So I do need to dive a little bit deeper on the San Pellegrino brand to make sure they have a proper level of corporate responsibility because I don't want to be voting with my dollar in poor ways. So bear with me on anything that you might know about these companies that I don't and please share with me because this is a collaborative process. I'm figuring out how to be as conscious of a shopper as I can be. Okay, so I've got some extra virgin olive oil here. Um, the olive oil I'm probably going to use for salad dressings. I'm only going to do salad dressings with olive oil because I like to cook with avocado oil, ghee, or coconut oil. So let's have a lot better uh, smoking point. This is exciting. I got some truffle oil here. Can you see that? We're going to pick out the truffle mac and cheese recipe from the Plant Paradox book. And we are going to make, honestly, my husband the happiest he's ever been. Once I make that recipe, it is on. Truffles! Can you imagine? My husband and I have been essentially craving the taste of France. Got some macadamia nuts. Disclaimer on macadamia nuts, especially if you're shopping with your EDD card. This was pretty expensive. Originally, I wanted to buy pine nuts, I wanted walnuts, pecans, almonds, and macadamia nuts. But just during these times, I have to pinch pennies in every single way that I possibly can. So I only splurged on this one. Guess how much this is? For this many macadamia nuts, it's like $8.99. And it comes in plastic. So this is not a win-win, at least on the um, no impact little grind that I've been on, trying to not buy anything in packaging. It's tough. You do what you gotta do, or you do what you can do during quarantine, so. Okay, so we got some Gruyere here, some aged Gruyere, and some Parmigiano Reggiano. So the thing about aged cheeses, I have a sensitivity to dairy. Um, that is dairy from typical cow's milk. There's certain cheeses on the market that if they're sourced directly from Italy or France or Switzerland, but they're not inflammatory for the gut, they won't lead to leaky gut problems or autoimmune response issues and there's a different type of protein in these cheeses it's a1 versus a2 that's a whole rabbit hole we can go on i'll probably make another video about cheese and dairy sensitivities and things like that okay so my husband is obsessed with oranges right now so we just got a bunch of oranges we got the naked type we don't want to get anything honestly that comes in packaging because we all know we all know we need to save the world we can't be 
buying everything in a freaking package anymore. We'll make a video on that. Okay, so apples. We got the um, red apple. Everything's organic here. We got a bunch of lemons. Um, you know, hot water with lemon every morning. Critical for the morning routine. Oh, and here's Billy. Say hi to my boy. Hello, baby. You see this brand? Pasture raised eggs. Okay, pasture raised. We all know that that means the chickens are roaming on pastures, right? Okay. There's big differences between free range, cage free, no hormones added, humanely raised, natural chickens can get the USDA's seal of approval. Sounds amazing. Until you start to realize how much of that is labeling. Like, you know, all those different labels, there's just so many different things to know and understand about chickens and things like that. Um, but it's good to know on this brand, it's 108 square feet per hen of pasture space. So that is great to know that they are at least um, able to roam the pastures. Check out the documentary called um, Super Size Me 2. It's all about the chicken industry. The label free range actually doesn't really have regulations on how much range a chicken or a hen can have. Um, on the farm. What's the smallest space we could give them that would still be quantified as free range? Free range. So that really got me very passionate and interested on understanding these labels and just being way more educated than before. We got a bunch of mushrooms. I made sure to get the mushrooms in the cardboard carton here and not the plastic carton. You know, anything we can do to reduce. Um, these I'm going to put in my truffle mac and cheese pasta thing I've been talking about. We get a ton of avocados. We're going to make salad dressings out of these. We're going to make chocolate mousse. We are going to make pie. We are going to make, oh my god, we can make so many things. We can put this in tacos. We can put this on an omelet. Oh my god. This is just like probably the most essential part of the shopping trip. So we're going to peel those, bake them, season them. They're going to be bomb. And then a big head of ginger. We're gonna do a lot of the uh, amazing things here. Probably, we'll probably use this in some baking. I hate this plastic container, but the dates. We're gonna make some fruit and nut bars out of these dates. And what else are we gonna make? Oh, we're gonna make protein balls. Dates are pretty essential for all those little like yummy, quick treats and goodies you can make on a healthy lifestyle. Billy just really wants to do this. If you're gonna be in the video, you gotta do a promo. Hello, my name's Bilbo. Right? He's so legit. If you met him, you would you would try to steal him. Like this best cat of life. You can stay, baby. Um, okay. Grass-fed butter. I'm gonna do a majority of our cooking with the cauliflower. I have a really good chopper, so we're gonna rice the cauliflower. Um, you could even make flour out of this and make cauliflower tortillas and tacos and things like that. What did you pick out? This one's milk. Chop. What? <laughs> Red pepper, paprika. We got some cloves and then we got the garlic. I usually get the fresh garlic, but they actually didn't have any. This was all at Ralph's too. Got some broccoli heads here, a bunch of herbs, thyme, mint, rosemary, parsley. Um, and then we even got a big a big load of basmati rice. Basmati rice actually is approved on the Plant Paradox plan. Just as long as you soak it, um, double wash it after soaking it for at least 24 hours and pressure cook it. Um, just you really gotta break down the rices and the grains and the beans. So if I do have them in my diet, they're... They are a very broken down version. Uh, okay, it's so interesting. He's never done this before. I think it's literally because I'm on camera. Whenever I'm watching the computer, he will sit in front of the computer. If I'm watching TV, in front of the TV. He, they just they just know when cameras are around. They're trying to be YouTubers. Yeah. Okay. What did he get? He threw in some chalk, bittersweet chocolate chips. Okay. These are fair trade. They have some good labels on here. These are at least 70% cacao content. They're organic. So we are gonna make some mint, chocolate mint, anti-inflammatory cookies. Also got some hemp milk. I'm trying to find a lot 
a lot of hemp products right now. I've been having some trouble finding hemp tofu. So if anyone has any advice on where to find hemp tofu, let me know because that's really hard to find. It's always a soybean tofu. And then the same thing with grain-free tempeh. I'm trying to find that as well because I really want my husband to have a grain-free um, anti-inflammatory vegetarian diet, but a lot of vegetarian sources are full of grains and full of peas and um, legume, peas, legumes, soy, brown rice, and there's just, there's better quality of things we can get in our diet that they are just a little bit harder to find. This this food program, this is just a lifestyle program, understanding nutrition at a fundamental cellular level. And this is what's really gotten taste back into my life. And we, my husband and I are enjoying every second of it. It's making life extremely fun. Our energy has shifted, Our just our moods, our outlook. Life is so much more fun when you're enjoying the foods you're eating and they're actually really, really yummy and you don't feel deprived or that you're on some restrictive diet this just feels like oh my god we can make cookies now we can make banana bread all these different things and my husband doesn't have a super sensitive stomach like i do but he has basically adapted and tailored his diet to be eating whole foods with me and he is thriving on it people are asking him at work like what have you been doing you look so different you've lost so much weight it's like you're not it's like they were trying to tell him in a really nice way, you're not inflamed anymore. You're looking really good, dude. So I know this is working and I feel really, really good now. If we self-educate ourselves on nutrition labels, food sourcing, and um, how to shop properly and consciously while making specific choices for your own body type and your own nutrition profile, it can all be an extremely complicated process so i wanted to make this series and kind of go into what my process is specifically as a health coach how can you reduce inflammation in your body and change your genetics and improve your ancestry through nourishing yourself today for future generations there's just so much that's interconnected in the way that we shop and the way that we make conscious purchasing choices that can impact us on a global scale now and in the future. So I'm really passionate about what that means for society, for us individually, and for everybody. So let me know if you're just as passionate about that too. Okay, like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. This channel is going places and going in a lot of different directions in the wellness space. So join me for the ride and follow me on Instagram at Avon underscore heavenly. And um, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one for custom health coaching programs, you can head over to my website at avonheavenly.com. Okay, have a good one. See you next time. Bye.